Hey there, it's Dissonance, and today, step by step, we're going to build this small medieval castle tower. Let's get started. So, for this build, we're going to primarily need this top row of materials. Everything below that is just decoration and is completely optional. So let's go ahead and grab this top row. First, make a 7x7 seven seven square out of stone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Wait, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I messed it up already. There we go. A nice little square. Once that's complete, we're going to bring this up so it is a total of 15 blocks high. This is only the first level. After about 4 blocks high, I recommend mixing up cobble, andesite, and stone brick so you get a nice little weathered pattern out of the build. If you prefer, you can come back and do this later. And there we are. Very exciting, I know. A 7x7, seven seven, 15 tall square. Next, grab your stone bricks. We're going to place two high all the way around. Now along each wall, starting in the corner, place a stone brick block and stone brick stairs. Next to that, we're going to alternate and place just stairs. Do this all the way around the wall and for each wall. And just to finish it off, let's place a stone brick slab on each corner. And there's our base. Now let's work on the top of this tower. Decide what you want as the floor at the very top. I'm going to go with cobblestone for this one. We're actually going to remove this top layer and replace it with whatever flooring you want. And from here, let's fill in that top floor. And our tower is really starting to take shape. Next, we're going to make some battlements up here. This is the part that you hide behind when enemies are firing arrows. Let's grab the polished andesite, stairs, and slabs for these. So we're going to start on one corner. And just like that, we're going to make two. Skip one. Oops. A little deeper. One, two, three. One, two, three again, and just one, two on the last one. That should give you that figure there. In between each one, we're going to place an upside down stair and a regular set stair. Just like so. Let's do this all the way around. There we go. And once you've completed that, let's add the slabs next to all of the stairs, just to give a little variety in height. Voila. Lastly, let's add some spruce fencing, just for some structural support, and also to break up all of the gray a little bit. I place one underneath each of these little um, battlement lines. Like so. This part is optional and can be a little tedious, but it really uh, livens up your build. Let's go ahead and grab the cobblestone, andesite, and stone bricks, and we'll start placing them in randomly amongst the stone. This just gives it a much more weathered, textured kind of feeling. Uh, I use this in a lot of stone builds just to break up all of the constant gray. Okay, so you can see that I've gone through and I have weathered all of the sides, giving them a lot more texture. I think this fits nicely with the build so that it's not so uh, just a sheet of gray all the way across.
All right, so we've completed the main tower. Let's add the last couple of functional bits, and then we'll go on to the optional stuff. So we're done with a lot of these blocks. Uh, I'm going to get rid of most of them. But hang on to the stone and stone brick stairs for the floor on the inside and for the arrow slits. And then I'm going to grab a few decorative pieces that I plan on putting on the interior as well. Alright, first thing we need is an entrance. I recommend using whatever the back side of the tower is, uh, since it's probably going to be facing outward, defending you from foes. So this is the back of my tower. And we'll come in and replace all of this floor with stone. And we'll set a spruce door right there. I like to have it set in just a little bit. Forgot to mention ladders. Grab some of those. Uh, as soon as we walk in, in this right-hand corner, I'm going to place ladders going all the way up. And we'll break out to the top, place a ladder there as well, and we have arrived to the top of our tower. Excellent. Uh, I do want to go back, however, we're going to add a second floor to this. So you have a base floor, a second floor that we can shoot through, uh, and then, of course, the top of the tower. So we're going to come up seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and right on this level I'm going to build with uh, stone. All right, and here we have our second level before you go up to the top of the tower. Now, on the second level, uh, like I said, I want to make those arrow slits that you can shoot out through. So around each center block, we're just going to punch these guys out. And place these stairs carefully. I'm using stone brick stairs. You want to make sure that the bulk is toward the inside so you get the arrow slit on the outside. And we're going to do the same around each of these. Once you have those complete, you've got a great place to defend your tower from. Just grab that bow, and you'll be able to shoot all of the mobs trying to attack you. And there you go, the base of our tower is complete. I just have some finishing touches to make this build look a little nicer on the inside. First up, you're definitely going to want some lights on these floors. I recommend a chain with a lantern hanging down. Nice and simple. And we'll do it on this floor as well. Next, we're going to want a little storage, so one of my favorites is the spruce trapdoor on the top of the block with the barrel placed on the block above. And there you go, some easy storage for all of your arrows and bows. If that looks too unsupported, you can always put a couple of fence posts down like so. And those same spruce trapdoors going across and add a chest right in the center like that. And now we also have extra storage here. Now at the top, you might want to put a barrel or a chest in the corner, so that you also have plenty of access to arrows. The final touch I like is to place some cobblestone wall in the center, and make a banner pattern that you like, and throw that down so it's facing uh, away from the door, so it's outward of your kingdom or place that you're trying to defend. Also, I like to add these banners to each of these uh, like interior turret sections. And I like to do this all the way around. This kind of just helps flavor your build and can fit right into your kingdom or whatever it is that you are building. And lastly, bone meal a little grass, grow a few trees, add some bushes, and you have a wonderful little setting for this medieval castle tower. This has been Dissonance Gaming. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out, and I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye!